Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and one Democrat representative, and I don't believe it's just him, he's hatched a plan to basically crush the Constitution so that Democrats never lose another election. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And guys, if you're not watching us on YouTube, please visit that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. When you get there, please hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. Representative Jamie Raskin is at it again. And before I get to what he said this time, I want to tell you what he said a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. When talking in another interview, he basically said, if the American people choose to elect former President Donald Trump to the office of President of the United States again, then it's up to Congress to reject that vote, not count the votes, and get a different president. So what he wants to happen if you vote for Trump and Trump wins, he wants to say forget tens of millions of votes, just get rid of them, because we, the elite few in Washington, D.C., we don't want this president. Now, I think he would fail and fail miserably. But And the reason he'd fail miserably is I think you have to have representatives like Nancy Pelosi who would say that's a bridge too far. So I don't even think you'd get a lot of Democrats except for the extremes on board with that. And I don't think you'd get a lot of Democrats except for the extremes on board with his newest proposal. See, his newest proposal is the thing that keeps us a republic and not a direct democracy. And a lot of horrible things in this country would have happened if we had a direct democracy. You'd probably still have slavery if we had a direct democracy because it's majority rules. So, I mean, these people got to watch what they're wishing for. Some of the things like gay marriage and all these liberal causes that are only for fringe people. And when I say fringe, I mean a minority of people. Not that there's anything wrong with them. But the, all these things that they pushed that were for a minority of people would probably be rejected by the majority so direct democracy is really mob rule. You don't want that. But he wants to get rid of the Electoral College, folks. Totally gut the Constitution. Totally stop what makes us a representative republic. The problem is that Democrats and the media say the word democracy so many times that your kids, your grandkids, maybe even you, believe we are a democracy. We're not a direct democracy. We are a constitutional republic. And that's been lost in all this. So I think, you know, get civics back in school and get people like Jamie Raskin out of Washington, D.C. I want you to watch what he says here and then let me know what you think in the comments. We passed the nation's first national popular vote interstate compact. We initiated that. We're now more than two thirds of the way there because uh, it's 2024. How about it's time we start electing the president the way we elect mayors and representatives and senators and governors, whoever gets the most votes wins, right? Rather than a convoluted, antique, uh, obsolete system from the 18th century, which these days can get you killed, as nearly it did on January the 6th, right. 2021. I mean, we were meeting there just because of the formalities of the 12th Amendment, which say that you've got to have a joint session to count the Electoral College votes sent in by the governors under the Certificates of Ascertainment. But we knew who had won the election. Everybody knew who had won the election. But we're still going through these 18th century rituals, and that's what gave um, you know, Donald Trump the opportunity to convoke the mob, come here, we'll be wild, and then tell them to go and fight and fight like hell or they wouldn't have a country anymore. Um, that, um, you know, so look, we've had five popular vote losers in American history become president twice in this century alone in 2000 and 2016. And I, I think the vast majority of American people think we should be electing the president just by having an election and seeing who gets the most votes rather than this convoluted, rickety system where it all comes down to a handful of states, six or seven states, instead of everybody's vote counting equally everywhere in the country.